What is up, my YouTube family? First of all, I wanna thank y'all so much, everyone that has liked or subscribed or commented or shared my video. Y'all are amazing and I thank you so much. Secondly, we're going to be painting something a little bit different than what I uh, have done, which I've been doing something different nearly every time. We're gonna be painting. Oh. Let's not do drum roll on the table. We're gonna be painting a saw blade. That's right. I said a saw blade, a dangerous shot. If y'all know me, I think the farmhouse stuff is so cute. I love it, I think it's adorable. So we're gonna put a farmhouse twist on a saw blade, but we're gonna make it abstract. I have got to where I love abstract art. It's so colorful and creative. So it's gonna be really fun, really colorful, and um, sharp. So be careful if you decide to paint a saw blade. They don't feel good when they scrape your finger. But I've got some saw blades in my laundry room um, right now. So let's go paint a blade. All right, so I'm back outside. I apologize for my chickens. I might have one jump in my lap in a minute, but that's gonna just be all right. Okay. I've got my gloves on because I will be using paint and primer. Okay, so I have a 12 inch saw and today we're gonna prep it to paint. Now, this one is not as rusted as the ones that I have done in the past. This one is actually in decent shape. Um, so, it has a little bit of scratches on it, but like as far as rust, it's like, it's perfect because it doesn't have all the steps I have to do to take all that off. So, we're gonna still sand it though. You need to sand your saw blade first with it. I just have a piece of sandpaper again. I'm gonna sand the saw blade and then we're gonna spray it with metal. I have some metal paint and primer right here. We are gonna spray it with that. That way it does not rust. It protects the saw blade. And then we're gonna let it dry. So let's get started with the sanding first. I just have a coarse piece of sandpaper. Let's sand the saw blade. All right, next what you're gonna do, I did not mention this. Um, I just have a rag with some water on it. I'm just gonna wipe it so that way it wipes off any of the dust. It's good to rinse them too if you just wanna do that. I'm just gonna wipe it and make sure I kinda get it just wiped off after it was sanded. Um, and then we're gonna let that water dry because I did not bring a dry towel outside. We're just gonna let it air dry real quick. And you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, it's all scratched up now, but it has been sanded to get the pieces of stuff that we don't want on there off. Once your saw blade is dry and you are content with the way it feels and it looks, make sure you try to get all the dust and everything off that you can. Then it's time to at least prime it. I have paint and primer and it makes it pretty and sparkly. But you can just use primer just as long as you're priming it before you paint it. I went ahead and I pulled up my sleeves Primer is awful. This paint and primer, I mean, spray paint is terrible enough, but this stuff's real bad. You don't want to get it on your hands or your arms. Last time I didn't get to show it in the video when I spray painted the basket, 
but my paint can got clogged up. And when I went to unclog it, it sprayed all over my hand. So I've got both gloves today. And you don't wanna apply this too thick or it will run. So just make sure you're spraying a good coat. If you need to go back with another coat, you can. Look, I don't know if you can see how sparkly and gorgeous that is in the lighting that I have right now, but that is so pretty. The sparkles in this stuff, I love it. It's the uh, metallic, so it's got like that shimmer. I love a good shimmer. So we're gonna let this side dry. You can hang it up, you can set it down. Um, I'm gonna set it somewhere. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit. We're gonna paint the other side and then we're gonna go on to the step of actually painting and decorating our saw blade. All right, so now we're gonna use some gesso. I have Liquitex Basics Acrylic Gesso. Um, you're just gonna to want to put it on your saw blade um, and just cover it, coat it. Bam, gesso magic. Um, so then once you've got that on there, that's basically just gonna let the paint adhere to the blade. So I thought the ocean green would look very pretty on my blade to contrast against the farm animal that I'm going to be painting for you all. Uh, it really looks more blue, but it says green. So, you know, I guess they know what they're talking about more than I do. So anyways, if I were to have looked at that color, I would have thought it was blue, but that's all right. We're just gonna paint that on here and then go to the next step. Once you get that on, we're going to paint the colorful part of the painting, which is the fun part. I used purple here. You do not have to use purple. Use whatever color you wanna use and whatever kind of contrast you wanna make. I had to go get reference for the eyes because I totally messed them up. <laughs> But as you can see, I went in and put the eyes and the nose, and this is where the painting comes to life. You're gonna add all your colors and just like watch it just, just come alive. Hey, and you know what? Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that background color. Is it blue? Is it green? It looks blue. All right, I'm gonna let y'all watch it now. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our abstract pig is done. Stick a fork in it. Look how cute. Don't you want to just pinch your little cheeks? If you have not tried abstract art, please go do it. If you have to have a little bit of guideline, that's okay. I was actually reading a um, 
a little post or a little thing that I read online um, about how to create abstract art and it did say to have a point of reference or whatever like try to look at something to see so if you have to do that that's fine I actually had to do that some of my if you enjoyed this video as always be sure to smack that like button hit subscribe and comment share do your thing y'all are awesome thank you so much for all that y'all done already as I said earlier and we will see y'all next time